Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom and I'm here with you today on Thursday, March 21st. Happy first day of Aries season and happy birthday to all the Aries that watch. I hope you all have a beautiful season and a wonderful birthday. So it is a bright sunny day where I'm at, blue sky, puffy white clouds, but the coldest, strongest wind we've had, I want to say, just about all winter long. It's been really chilly here today. That wind is so strong and biting. So for today's angel reading um, message of the day, I'm going to start with the elemental oracle and see what we have going. Oops. I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> All right, spirit guides, what do the angels want us to know today? Of course, we have the full moon in labor coming up on Monday, 25th. We've got Mars in Pisces right now, the sun in Aries. Lots of big energies happening. Of course, the full moon is a lunar eclipse. Okay. Bottom of the deck is Breath and Life, and this is a 27, and that breaks down to a 9. Remember, when you're stressed, to just take a few minutes and do some deep breathing. It can really make a difference in how you're feeling. It brings blood around your body, into your brain, helps relax you, lower blood pressure. Okay. And that is a 9, a 27. We have rain and fiduciary. <laughs> I'll never say that name right. And this is an 8. And this is someone who's um, been having some money problems or feeling lack in some way. And um, this is changing. They're at the end of this cycle and they're saying goodbye to this. And that's an 8. We have Adams in building. This is a four. And this might be something you're working on. This could be an energy of some kind. And here you are collecting all this. Um, these are like, I don't know, maybe scar stars that have fallen down into the water and you're collecting them. You're, you're learning, you're gaining more knowledge and um, you're building something with this knowledge that's gonna serve you well. And this is a four. We have lake and depth, and somebody's in some deep emotions right now. They're doing some cleansing, some purging of energy. They're going very deep on themselves right now. And this is a four. And then we have west with a completion. And this is also a four. So four, four, four here for our numerology folks. We've got a completion energy. A cycle has completed for somebody here. Excellent. So with every completion comes a new beginning of some kind. So let's see what else comes out here. Take these glasses off. As bright as it is outside, it puts a glare and I, I, uh, it makes it even harder to see looking ahead. <laughs> All right. Spirit guides, what messages do you have for us today? What do the angels want us to know?
Okay, bottom of the deck is a leg up, and this is a 34, becomes a 37. I'm going to take a few extra cards off of there. <laughs> Felt called to. So we have this leg up energy, and this is an energy of help coming into in some way. Spirit might arrange it. It, it might just start happening for you. They're going to do something to give you a leg up to help you on this um, this journey you're on, this whatever you're building or growing in your life. They're going to give you a little hand. And that's a seven. So we've got seven, eight, nine here. And another seven to the sea. And this just means that you're flowing with the energy, right? You're just gliding along in it, going with the flow. We have milk and honey. And this is a six energy. Life is going to get a little bit sweeter, a, a little easier, a little nicer for you. We have a deep knowing, and that's a seven. I think that energy in the milk and honey came out yesterday, too. I think this one did, too. Orphaned, three, uh, five. This is someone who feels forgotten, left out, um, left behind, alone. And that's a five. We have by the book, and this is just an energy of somebody that's doing everything by the book, right? They're following the rules. They're staying in line, staying in order, um, staying dedicated to something and just moving forward in life. And this is an 11. This is a 31. Where's that a 33? Put on your glasses. It's a 31. And you may be asking yourself why now. A lot of different why questions. Why is this like this? Why has this happened? What's going on? Um, so maybe... Or maybe you're not, and maybe you need to start asking yourself why more. Unfinished Symphony, and this is a 10. And this means that you have some situation in your life that isn't finished yet. There's still, like, there's music playing here. Someone's playing a, vi a violin or something. And there's a keyboard here. Um, maybe music is connecting you in some way to something else in your life. Uh, some unfinished story, maybe a job, a relationship, a place, a home, something like that. We have the energy of peace, and this is a five energy, and um, peace is coming into your life. Let yourself be at peace you know, try to calm your worries and your fears and all of that. Just come into a place of peace. You know, connect with spirit and just come into that place of peace and safety. We have fork in the road. And this is a four. So you may be coming to a... Uh, a decision that you have to make to choose a direction in life, to choose a path. Um, maybe it's a career path, a spiritual path. Maybe it's a relationship, you know, stay or go. Um, it could be anything like that, but you may be faced with some fork in the road. If you haven't yet, that might be coming for you. So a big four energy here today. And then we have happy, happy, and this is an eight. So this is somebody happy um, in what they're doing and who they are, the work they get to do perhaps, because this is an eight and that's usually around work. And somebody saying, you don't have to work every minute of your life. You can 
take a deep breath every now and then and again, right? <laughs> mm. All right, what do we want to look at next here? Let's do the enchanted map. Let's see what wants to come through for that. And I'll take out the book just in case it's an energy I'm not familiar with. Half the deck that fell out of my hand. Anything else, Spirit? What else? <laughs> okay. Bottom of the deck, we have intention, and this is a 22. And that would be a master number. We don't decrease it. Um, but as we look at this card, um, we have an owl sitting on an egg, like he's incubating it or protecting something. And then the owl has a dandelion seed in its mouth, like it's going to blow it into the wind and make a wish. And so when we sent an intention, um, we... We, we put the intention out and then spirit takes that intention, takes it to its destination where it's meant to go. They hit the mark on it and you have to release all expectation to outcome once you set that intention and just let spirit do their magical work. And maybe you've um, made an ask like that and now you just have to relax and let it all happen and trust ride the wave and this is a 14 which breaks down to a five and just stay in the flow and ride the the wave of that flow right um just keep flowing with the energies keep doing what you love following your bliss making everything happen for you um, enjoying what you're doing and ride that wave right into success and that's a five We have Into the Unknown, and this is about, um, you may be on a path and you may not know where it's going to end up, how things are going to go, and you're kind of like blinded, you just don't know what's going to happen, and we're often in situations like this in life, like sometimes we're just on a path and we have no idea what's going to happen to us or for us, and we have to trust um, ourselves first in knowing that we have survived 100% of the situations you've been in, or I wouldn't be here doing this reading with you and you wouldn't be there watching it. So we have this um, ability to survive things and move past them as unpleasant as they might be, right? We get past them. So know that about yourself. Trust that in yourself that you can handle whatever comes with you on this path. And I'm choosing to believe, because I don't know how this channel is going to work out for me, what's going to happen with it. And I chose to believe that nothing but the best is going to happen for me. And if it isn't, I'll handle whatever happens for me. And that's a seven. <sighs> we have strength. And this just talks about the strength of your character. And realize that you're stronger than you realize here we have a woman and she's in some kind of yoga pose here and she's on one leg and with one arm she's holding up a world 
that has a tree growing on it. So you can imagine that inner strength that it takes for her to stay in a balanced position and hold the world up above her head. Okay, that's the kind of strength you have. That's a 44. Wishing well, 48. Um, so this is kind of like the intention card, right? This is you, you go to the well and you make your wish and you drop that coin down the well and you just release it to spirit, right? You, when you make a wish like that, you kind of almost stop thinking about it, right? Think about all the times you've thrown a coin in a wishing well, right? Or wished on a star and you make these wishes and at some point they escape your mind, but spirit doesn't forget. And they bring forth the wishes when you least expect, okay? So again, it's releasing outcomes. And this is a three, and that's our first three today. We have movement, and this is a 10. And so something in your life is moving, it's changing. And here we have an ostrich that's on the move. He's carrying what looks like a little world um, on his back, and he's moving somewhere, like maybe he's relocating. And then there's a hot air balloon in the foreground there like hot air balloons travel, they move. So maybe someone's gonna be traveling in towards you. Maybe they're getting closer. Okay, and then the last energy we have is Golden Palace, and this is a five. And this is about um, having opportunities around finances. This, When you get this card, it indicates that you're coming into a, um, a more solid financial picture in your life, more stability, more income, a blessing of some kind coming into your life around finances um, is possible for you. And maybe that's some of this intention you've set and you're just staying focused on your path, your career here, whatever you're doing. That obviously has some signs of growing. And you're just staying dedicated and disciplined with it. And that's a five. Okay, so look at that. I didn't have to use the book. Yay! All right. Next, we're going to take the sacred she and see what energies want to come out here. All right, spirit guides. What messages do the angels want to bring forward for the collective today? Okay, bottom of the deck is Wisdom Keeper. And this looks like a, an Indian ancestor here. And um, they're helping you with wisdom. And that is a five. I'm going to separate these by their en elemental energies. We'll take a look at what we have and any energies are missing. 
Mm -hmm. It looks like we have everything showing up. So that's good. Because it always speaks loud when one of the energies are missing, right? Because we want to be balanced in our elemental energies. Okay. And we are in Aries season now, so that's a fire sign. And we do have fire energy here. Well, the largest energy is water energy, though, today. And then the fire, earth, and air are all balanced at four. So that's quite a bit of balance. All right, let's uh, do the, we'll do the earth first here. It's, um, be here now. And this is about being in the present moment, right? Um, staying focused on today, what you have to do today. And... Um, Remember, behind us, nothing is built yet. In the future, nothing. No, in the future, nothing is built yet. And in the past, it's a ghost land. There's no one there you can talk to or figure anything out with, change or solve. You can only do that here and today. And it's, in fact, what you do today is what you're building for tomorrow. It's your foundation for tomorrow. So really focus on today. And in this card, there's that little puppy uh, looking for some attention. And it's almost like there's future and past energies here just not paying attention to them. And that is a two, and that's our first two. We have six with generosity. And this is, um, generosity is supposed to be like, uh, six of um, pentacles is like a reciprocal energy in your life. Maybe you're a very generous person by nature, loving and giving and sharing of those types of energies in your life. And maybe that's going to be more apparent and more needed for you in some way. And that's a six. We have seven of pentacles, and this is about timing in your life, divine timing. Maybe you've done a little bit of manifesting, and you're hoping for some divine timing, and that comes under a deep knowing. And then we have the energy of support. And you may be somebody that's very compassionate and loving and supportive of other people. And they can feel that love. And this is a four. Our fire energies. This is um, the seven of wands. And this is about adaptability. And that you're able to adapt to changing, um, changes in your day, in your life that you you adapt, you settle in, and you deal with whatever life throws you, right? You're adaptable, and that might be important in coming energies. That's a seven. We have five of wands, and this is about competition. And maybe you're in a competitive field, um, like... Um, tarot reading is competitive there's a lot of different ones we have out here i choose not to see it as a competition because you know we're all different everybody needs a different kind of reader and um, there's plenty of people viewing for everybody um this can also be somebody strategizing trying to get ahead trying to spark something um, even in a relationship we see two people here you don't want to be in competition with anyone else unless you put yourself in a com um, competitive field like um, a tennis player or, um, I don't know, what else is competitive? Why do I think of tennis? I don't know. A chess game or, you know, something like that where you're in actual competition. You're there for a road race, right? You're there to compete against other people. Um but otherwise, um, we should be in competition with other people, you know. We all have different gifts and abilities, and we shouldn't be worried about competing with somebody else. And then we have one, and this is like um, imagination. 
or inspiration rather. And this is like the Ace of Wands, right? You may be getting um, some kind of an intuitive hit or something, some kind of, um, maybe you're in a real creative um, energy right now and it's gonna aid you. Then we have some swords energy here. We have the Seven of Swords, and this is about deception. Um, maybe this is an energy that you were in in the past, somebody that pulled the wool over you. You know, maybe they were a wolf and they came in like a lamb and deceived you in some way. You fell for something, and I think you're probably a little wiser this time around, and you'll know what to look for and pay attention to. We have 777. <laughs> Bam, bam, bam in a row here. I like four, four, four. And then we have scrutiny. So somebody may be scrutinizing you right now, looking at you too harshly, thinking about you in a harsh way. Or maybe spirit is suggesting to you that you look at, at somebody um, closer with more discernment, or somebody could be doing that to you. It could be going vice versa, and it's just something to be aware of in your life. But somebody could be watching you and judging you, and that's an 11. We have the energy of perfection, and this is a 13 that breaks down to a four. And this is somebody who is, um, be like a four of swords. This is somebody, in regular tarot, the four of swords is somebody healing their heart. And maybe this person is focused on healing. Like I've openly admitted on the channel that I struggle with um, perfectionism. It's something I have to be mindful of all the time and um, work at regularly. And maybe this person that's healing their heart um, has perfectionist tendencies and they're having a difficult time healing their heart because of it. In, in my rational mind, right, my rational mind knows that there's no such thing as perfectionism. And I think a lot of people do realize that. It's just we have these energies and habits that are within us that are sometimes hard to break without intentionality. And I find myself that um, when I'm in balance and I'm in the flow, everything's okay. It's when a little bit of stress comes along and maybe I feel like life is a little out of control that I, I will really unconsciously try step more into a perfectionist energy um, just to try to bring control to a situation and I've learned as I've gotten older to just release that kind of control and and relax and um, so I can understand how challenging that energy can really be and unless you've had to deal with it you might not understand it um, how it really is um, it's really about safety and security in one's life, how they perceive it, the things they need to do to feel safe and secure. And somebody might be struggling with that right now. And I'm happy to say that it's not me. <laughs> and then we have the Eight of Swords. And this is somebody in the energy of blame or shame, um, worried, fearful, anxious, all those types of energy, um, overthinking, maybe exhausted and overtired and just feeling depleted and not knowing what direction to go to in one's life and maybe even a little bit of self-blame there for somebody. And we need to release energies like this and forgive ourselves. Okay. Then we have our water energy, and this was the largest energy here today. We have harmony, and this is like the three of cups. And well, who wouldn't be happy if you were a dolphin, right? 
jumping out of the water, going through a sherbet colored sky with two of your best friends, right? Three of cups there. So this is an energy of friendship and um, you're in friendship with somebody in that way. Maybe somebody that's made a wish about you. We have the Six of Cups, and this is about passion. It's also about a soulmate connection that you have with somebody. This is like the Ten of Cups, and here it says gratitude. And this is an energy of someone that's just grateful for everything they have in their life, for every little thing, and they express that gratitude to their spirit guides, to the universe, to their friends and family, how grateful they are to have um, these people in their life. We have the Nine of Cups, and this is indulgence. Nine of Cups is about wish fulfillment. And here on this day, this little cherub was wishing for a big layered cake, and she had, you know, a few bites of it. And some days you just need to have a piece of cake, and it's okay to have a piece of cake and celebrate whatever you know, at birthday parties and all of that, even if you're dieting and watching your weight and all of that, it's okay to indulge once in a while as long as it doesn't become an addiction of some kind. And that's a nine. We have the dream weaver, and this is like the five of cups in here. Um, and this is about regret. And this person has a frog in his cup, but he's got a cardinal on his shoulder he's cuddling a child and he's got some spirit animals around him so even though he's sad his love situation didn't turn out the way he wanted to he still can dream a dream and has love in the spirit guides around him and is imagining what life could be like and then this is um the Voyager, and this is an energy of being on a, a journey, a spiritual journey, a journey of self-discovery, a, a healing journey. Um, it can be anything like that, but you're on a voyage of some type in your life. And this comes in as a three. And then last are our spiritual energies. And we have a three with wisdom. So this is the second reference we have to wisdom here. So somebody is, has gained a lot of wisdom through the experiences they've had through life. Um, and, you know, we, we go through these lessons and we learn and we have this wisdom. And it becomes wisdom when you start applying the, le uh, the lessons to your life so you don't repeat cycles or experiences in your life. And that is a three. We have 11, and this is balancing, and this is about our masculine and feminine energies balancing, our light and dark energies balancing, and being in balance, and I just talked about it a little while ago, right, when I talked about professionalism, and when I feel balanced, um, I don't even pay attention to perfectionism, right, but when I'm out of balance, and I'm stressed or worried about something, I, I can feel those energies build in me again, and I have to be really mindful to crush them, work against them, right? We have, this is a seven, somebody's in an emotional crisis right now. You can see this cup overflowing. And there's a lightning strike going down into someone's emotions, and they're going through an emotional crisis. And that's hard. I've been there. It's a tough energy. And then there's our wisdom keeper. And that's a five. All right. How are we doing on time? We're just at a half hour. So what do we want to pull next? Let's do our spirit animals and see what they have to say. Well, 
they're ready to speak. <laughs> they're like, thank you for inviting us to the reading. All right, how did we get all mixed up here? Are they flipping? I guess they are. Oh my goodness. Okay, angels, what do we need to see today? What's going on? Okay, bottom of the deck is Porcupine Spirit. Time for a beginner's mind. Hmm. Time for a beginner's mind. So maybe you're on a new path and you're at the start of something, so you're at the beginning and Maybe it's a new field you're in, so you're really a beginner in it. What else am I getting here? So this is a 12, a 3. Hmm. Okay, Electric Eel Spirit, bring your ideas to life. And this is a six, so maybe you have some ideas, some things you want to do. It's time to bring them to life. Dear Spirit, bring a gentle touch. So whatever you do in life, just be gentle. You know, folks, this world is harsh enough. When you can be the gentle force in people's lives, that's such a relief. It's such a pleasure and it's such a gift to give someone to be the gentle one. And gentle doesn't mean weak either. Sometimes the most gentle people are the strongest. Squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. This is a three, right? Don't doubt yourself in any way. Believe you can and you will. Owl spirit, you can see clearly now. And that's a seven, okay? Were you confused about something before? Are you able to see a situation clearer now? Seven. Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. And we talked about that already, right? This is a four. We have turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. And this is a seven, right? Share. Be generous in nature. I try to be. That's a seven. Wow, big seven energy. Star, starfish spirit. Open to infinite possibilities, right? So we're on this unknown path, right? And stay open. Stay open to the possibilities that could come to you, the opportunities. Stay open. That's a five. Don't close yourself off. We have moth spirit, surrender now. <laughs> All right, somebody needs that message, surrender now. Um, surrender came out in the Daily Tarot reading too. Surrender to the journey, just surrender, just throw up the white flag and surrender. And 
This is a, a three. We have Ant Spirit, Time to Collaborate, and this is a one time. So this must be like a one of pentacles or something like this. It's an ace anyway, is an opportunity of some time to con collaborate with somebody. And Lion Spirit, be generous of spirit. And this is a 10, right? And that means being generous with your energy. All right, we can do one more. And let's... Um, do our cosmic journey. Okay, spirit guides, what do the angels want us to consider today? Bottom of the deck is a eight. The universe wants to co-conspire with you. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on, spirit wants to work with you. Um, and they probably are working with you, right? Okay. Okay. We have, you cannot pour from an empty cup. And this is an eight energy. And here you see a cup of coffee pouring all over the world. And Spirit's saying to you, you really need to, to take the time to rest and recoup your energy if you think that you're going to help the world in some way. So remember to pour into yourself first before you go pouring in uh, to a bunch of other people and depleting yourself, okay? And that's about having balance in your life. And it's okay to have self-care, to have a day where you need to pull your energy back and just worry about you for self-care. This is the activated ally. So Spirit has activated an ally to help you in your cause. And this is an 11 energy. So they're helping you to push something forward in your life. Then we have this four energy, the divine dragon. And this is a spiritual energy energy. Um, helping you step more into your power, more into your authentic self. This is an energy, an angel energy that's going to guide you and work with you. Um, and this is a really powerful energy. And um, a dragon spirit chooses you. They see the potential in you to work with you. It's not the other way around, okay? So they see something special about you where they're bringing this energy in to support you on your path. And that's a four. We have allow your work to become your art. So whatever you're working on, consider it your art. Maybe you're a baker and that's your art. Maybe you're a makeup artist. Maybe you're a hairdresser, right? Maybe a chef, doctor or dentist. Whatever you do, that's your work. That's your art. That's your masterpiece. You didn't, you decided to wake up or else, why did you draw me? It's 
So this is kind of like that why, asking yourself why. Okay, so asking yourself. Wanted, universe creators, and this is at all different levels, all different disciplines um, of helping the universe. Um, whatever you can think of doing that can support the general collective spirit saying, hey, we'll work with you. We need these people spreading light and love out there. Step on up. We will work with you. You're wanted. That's another four. The phoenix rises into joyful abundance, and this is a seven. So maybe you've been going through um, a death and a rebirth, you know, of your ego. Maybe you're rising again like the phoenix um, into this newfound joy and life experience. Um, maybe a spiritual awakening of some kind, and that's a seven. And then we have four. Every cycle is a higher opportunity. And this talks about um, the different cycles in our life. Like, right, we, we start out as a child. You know, we're in school. And then we're a young adult. We're in college, right? And then we get a boyfriend and we get married and we have our own kids, right? And we're not a teenager or a child anymore. Now we're an adult. Maybe we're a daughter, a mother, a, a sister, all at the same time. And then maybe your parents pass away and now you're not a daughter anymore and your kids are grown and you're not a, you know, you're not a mother mother anymore. Maybe you're a grandmother now, right? And maybe you don't work anymore. Maybe now you're retired. Right? We give up all these different people that we've been at all the different stages in our lives. And it's a, a constant learning, growing, changing cycle that we're in. We're never meant to say the same person. And as we learn and grow and move through this cycle, we become somebody else. And that's a four. All right, I think this brings us to a good point in the reading. Um, a quick look here, and the big numbers are, <clears throat> are 3, 4, and 7, and 5, okay? So if you want to look up those, those energies, you know, 5 is about change, 7 is a spiritual connection, um, 3 is the divine feminine energy, and I'm not quite sure what 4 is. I really need to get a little cheat cut thing here so I can uh, speak to these better when I'm doing the readings for you all. So let's start at one and we have two, what would be aces here? Collaboration and inspiration. So maybe you're gonna be collaborating with somebody and you're gonna be, you're gonna have some real creative energy I feel coming into you. Stay in the present moment, folks, right? Be in the present. Our three energy with you've made a wish into the well and you're just letting spirit handle it. Three of cups, the energy of friendship is here. You're on a spiritual journey, I'm guessing, by the other cards here. You're getting wiser by the minute. You're a beginner on this journey and understand that. And a squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Have confidence. Surrender now to the journey, to the cause, to what you want. Allow your work to become your art. Four energy with Adam. Something in your life is building and growing. Somebody is in deep um, energy right now. Deep emotions. There's a completion of some kind in your life, the end of a cycle. One of those cycles we just talked about, you're at the end of it. Somebody is asking themselves why questions, or maybe you need to ask yourself why. Somebody is at a fork in their road. There's supportive energy around you, and you are a very compassionate person. Um, there's an energy of perfectionism around you, to be mindful of that. 
Wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. A divine dragon is working with you, helping you on your path. The universe wants people to co-conspire with, co-create with. So if you have an idea or there's something you're thinking about doing, step into that energy. And, you know, we give up people in this life. We As we cycle through, we become different people and we leave somebody behind. Um, you know, my mother passed away a couple of years ago now. It would be three years in May. And, um, you know, so I haven't been a daughter for three years now. And that's still weird. It is just still weird. <laughs> so someone feels orphaned. And Spirit's asking you just to bring yourself to a place of peace and let your worries and fear go. Ride the wave, right? You're in this flow right now. Keep riding with it. Don't stop. A little bit, a leg up. Um, some financial opportunity is going to be coming into you that's going to help you. There's an energy of competition around you. Perhaps dream weaver. You're, you're weaving a dream for your life. You're a keeper of the wisdom. You have knowledge. You're helping other people. And Spirit saying, open to the infinite of possibilities for your life. Life is going to get a little sweeter, happier, nicer. You're a generous person and stay reciprocal like that. There's passion coming into your life. And bring your ideas to life. Maybe you have an idea or something you want to do. Don't be afraid to do it. Take the risk. Take the chance. Someone's coming in with a little bit of help to help you out here. Keep flowing with the energies. You have a deep knowing about some situation in your life. And maybe it's this never-ending story. There's divine timing at play in your life. Stay adaptable to the energy. Someone has deceived you in the past and be aware that maybe this person is going to cycle around again. Someone is in an emotionally crisis right now. Be patient with them as they deal with these uh, deep emotions. You see clearly now something has cleared up for you. You understand things better. Turkey spirit. Give with gratitude and grace. And the phoenix rises into joyful abundance, okay? So you're on this spiritual awakening you've been in, and you've awoken now to this happiness and joy. We have rain and the lack mentality that's leaving this person. Into the unknown, you're on an unknown path with unknown outcomes, and you're just flowing with the energy. Someone is up in their head over worried. Maybe they're in blame and shame and hurt and regret and sorrow, anxiousness, fear. And the universe wants to work with you, co-conspire with you. And do take care of yourself, okay? Rest and take the time you need. Pour love into yourself, right? We need to do that so that we can stay strong to help other people. You're feeling stressed, stress, do some deep breathing. It will really help. Someone is happy, 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 happy. Stay happy. Nine of Cups, it's okay to indulge every now and then, but don't overdo it, right? Have that balance of celebratory energy in your life. And bring a gentle touch. Be the gentle force in other people's life. Life is harsh and hard for a lot of people. And when you can be a, a gentle soul, that's such a lovely gift. And then our 10 energies. Why did you draw this card? So more asking why. Unfinished symphony. Something just not quite done in your life. Movement. Maybe something's moving towards you. Maybe you're moving away from something. Be grateful. Maybe you express your gratitude for everything in your life. 
and be generous of your energy. Be giving of your energy, okay? Then our spiritual energies. We have 144 with strength, being strong and able to balance a lot of different situations and still make something grow in your world. You've set an intention, you've made a wish, and spirit is taking care of it. So release release the, the outcome. Our 11 energy, and you're just doing things by the book and going right along on your journey. You're following all the universal laws and rules. Spirit has activated an ally for you to work with you. Energies are balancing. You're balanced in your masculine and feminine. You're balanced in your light and dark energies, right? And scrutiny. Somebody may be looking at you harshly and judging you, or you may be doing that to someone else. Or this is spirit saying, just spend some time really diving into a situation. Use, a, use an eye of scrutiny. Really um, use your discernment and try to figure something out in your life, okay? And be aware that people are watching you. You're being watched. You're being scrutinized. That's not so nice, huh? It's not a nice energy. All right. So it looks like we have somebody here who has gone through some healing and ended what what might have been a very emotional cycle in their life they've put it to rest they've risen like the the phoenix here and they're on some spiritual journey they're building and growing something they're staying strong spirits working with them bringing them allies okay and there might be some miraculous little energies coming in here for someone so let's uh, take the sacred forest and sum this all up. Spirit guides, can you sum up? I have had deck problems today. Everything's been mixed up. It's mix up day. This first day of Aries. All right, spirit. How can we sum up this energy here today? What does the collective need to know from a higher level here? What energies are at play in their life right now? What do they need to be aware of? Bottom of the deck is Bluebird Spirit with happiness. And this is a seven energy. And I don't know if you saw this reading yesterday with all the birds we had around. It was amazing. Not one today. <laughs> I just think it's too windy for birds to be out. And just like this bird here, we had a beautiful robin on the fence at one point. And her belly was big like she's carrying some babies. Okay, it is spring, right? So we have some happiness coming in. 
Daffodil Fairy with new beginnings, and we have a completion, so we absolutely have a new beginning here. We have Raven Spirit with the truth of a situation is coming out. You'll learn the truth. Of course, there's your truth. There's someone else's truth. There's the truth in the middle between you. Um, and all you can do is speak your truth, listen to someone else's truth, and know that you might not get the truth. Okay. We have Forest Temple with Enlightenment, and that's the Phoenix Rising. Sacred Spring with Success. You're going to come into a successful time in life, so stay with the flow. Keep moving forward on this unknown path. And, and take this angelic help that you're getting, okay? Be grateful for it. Foggy Bay with patience. You know, there's an energy of, of real energy and a need to surrender to this cause right now in your life. Whatever this is for you, if this is around a relationship, a wish in a relationship of some kind, or on a professional career, you really need to surrender those wishes um, and stay patient and trust that what is meant for you will never escape you. Bluebird Fairy with gratitude, staying grateful. And there's a lot of energy here that I have every reason to be that you are someone that's grateful for everything in your life. Spirit Guardian of Winter, retreat. Well, we just got out of winter spirit. It's only been a couple of days. But where I live, it still feels like winter. It's still pretty cold out here. We had snow yesterday. I mean, it's still, it's still winter. So we can retreat just a little bit longer. And stag spirit with leadership, stepping into a role of a leader, right? Being powerful, being confident, taking action in your life, okay? And you've got an ally, this dragon energy, right? pushing you ahead. All right, everyone, that's the reading I have for you today. Happy Aries season. Sending love and light to all, hoping you have a nice Thursday and a good rest of the week. Okay, see you in the next reading. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.